Okay, guys, we're here today for Luis Simon. Huge honor for me. Guys, he's the most legendary powerlifting coach in the world. I'm here at his gym, the West Side Barbell. So, can you show around a little bit about the gym? So, yeah, that's fine. So, uh, Louis, how many world records you have made here from this gym? Uh, we've had almost 140 all time world records out of this gym, male and female. From, out of this place? At this, out of this gym right here. No, that's amazing. For how many years have you been doing powerlifting? In your... I started powerlifting in 1966. <laughs> I got it. And uh, for, for how many years you were competing? I was top 10 in the world for 34 years. Yes, that, that's our... Mm -hmm. So guys, he was top 10 in the world for 34 years and you kept competing until you were like 50. Yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I lived at the Nationals in 1971 and I won the Nationals in 2002. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's a long amazing. time. And competing as a dude, so you're, you're competing against the young guys. Oh yeah, when I was young, I wanted to beat old men, and when I got older, I wanted to beat young men. I got you it. You gotta stay angry. No, oh, that, 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 that's <laughs> amazing. So Louis, one thing that uh, I learned a lot talking to you today was how much science you know behind the fundamentals of mm -hmm. powerlifting and how you can apply the powerlifting for different like uh, sports and uh, even martial arts and this and that. So. How do you do it? Like, if one Jiu Jitsu athlete steps here, if one MMA athlete steps here, if one football athlete steps here, you, 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 you pretty much can like give them the best conditioning workouts. That How do you do that? Well, what's the secret behind it? Well, powerlifting is basic lifting. It's just basic lifting, is all it is. You know, it's a squat bench, deadlift, a lot of rolling, a lot of curls. Uh, it's basic, and then what I do for different sports, I, I break it down. Like MMA, I was talking a while ago about five minutes squats, squat for five minutes, uh, walking good mornings, uh, power clean, I do a hang clean and a push press, set it down, and there go every 20 seconds for 10 minutes. Uh, those are some of my, my favorite ones right there. And uh, pull heavy sleds, and use your upper body for sled. A lot of wheelbarrows will go uh, uh, basically a 440 or an 880. With a weight, try to break a record for time pushing the wheelbarrow. That's a fighter, it's because you, you, you've got that thing in your hands, you got to balance it, and that's very, very good. They love that. I got it. And the, you were telling us as well, like how the you, your style, you mix up like the Russian style, the Chinese style, mm -hmm. the Bulgarian style. So, yeah. how's that? How, how did you create your system? Because your system is the best system in the world. So, how do you? How, how were you able to create this system? Like? Well, the conjugate system was invented in 1972, but I was doing the conjugate since 1972. Uh, fighting is a conjugate system, constantly switching from one thing to another. Conjugate is not, people think it's changing exercise. It's changing volume, changing intensity, or a percent of one rep max, changing velocity. It's changing many, many things. Things have to change all the time. Uh, if you don't change, you, uh, uh, you suffer from all the accommodation. And uh, once you do that, you make no more progress. You just can't. You have to, you have to constantly change things or you'll become stale. And running is called the speed barrier. If you just run all the time, you can run any faster. You have to stop running and do jumping and weight training and sure. so forth. And that's what will make you run faster in the end. I got it. And one thing that uh, when I was competing in Jiu-Jitsu, everybody would ask me, like, how often do you do strength and conditions and that? In my case, I, I would use this, like two or three times per week. But one thing that caught my attention was like how you have this schedule for very well made. Like you were talking about how the the very heavy training you guys do with 72 hours in between, mm -hmm. right? So can you talk a little bit about the schedule and training? Well, this is based off uh, the conjugate system they developed in 1972 in Russia in the Nine Mile Club. They experimented with people and they found that you could do an extreme workout, high volume or high intensity every 72 hours, small workouts every 12 or 24. And so they did the research and also the greatest lifters in the world and, and track and field. So I, I just did what they did and it worked. All right. No, that's amazing. Yeah. So guys, we just shot an entire structure of Louis Simon about the fundamentals of powerlifting for effective strength of condition.com and bggfanatics.com. So it's going to be over there soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So you should check that out. And thanks so much. Thank you. It was amazing. Yeah, it was one here. of my favorite days ever. Yo. I love learning from the legends and the, the best coaches mm -hmm. in the life. So well, I really appreciate, appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you. Was... Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.